the lifeblood of, pro of progression in anything you do in life. And whether you're building cities, whether you're building a business, regardless of what you're doing, communication is key. Now, communication and network marketing is even more important than that. Right? There's air, there's food, there's water, and in network marketing, right after that is communication. I can't network if effectively if I'm not communicating. Not only with the people in my downline, but also my upline. That's part of trusting the process. Most people want to get out and be leaders in their organization, in their group, but guess what? They're not tapped into the leadership that's above them. I tell my people all of the time, yeah, I've got thousands of people, but I have national directors that I'm in close contact with on a regular basis. And in turn, I'm relying on those national directors to what? Be in close contact with their executive directors and so on down the line. You follow me? And then it's the same way going back up the chain. If they have questions, they need to know that guess what? I'm available. I need to create a schedule to maximize my time in my business. That's the way that I'm going to become available for my upline and for my downline. Y'all with me? If I sit there and I say I'm not available every time you call me, right? If I got Link over here, he's calling me, oh, Link, it's a bad time, we at the movies, right? Okay, I'll call back. He calls back again, ah, man, you caught me right when I'm giving the kids a bath. All right, call me, oh, man, it's too early in the morning. Let me call you. Eventually, whatever that thing was that Link was calling me about, it's not going to get done because I'm not making myself available and I don't have a schedule in place where he and I can talk. That's part of communication. When I look at um, does your business uh, or do your business to create an open flow and exchange of information up and down the line be available, that tells me right there that the moment I'm in my back office and y'all see those reports that I was talking about, the moment I start looking at those reports, guess what that means? The people that's in my downline and in my upline, they should be looking at the same thing. So we're all on the same sheet of music. Y'all with me? So when I go into my reports and I go to call um, Decker or I go to call Parsons and I say, hey man, I'm looking in the downline and I see such, and they cut me off and say, no, I already know what you're going to say. I saw that this morning too. Y'all with me? Now that means we're in the same page. We're marching to the beat of the same drum. Basically, you're in sync. You're in sync. And what does that do? That maximizes production across the spectrum. And that's what you want. Okay? But it all starts with the communication piece. And then you gotta ask questions. You got to. You know? Communication, a big part of that is understanding what you're doing, having the information. We say it all the time, what? Confused people do nothing. Closed mouths don't get fed. Closed mouths don't get fed, right? So we've got to put ourselves in a position where one, we're asking questions, but two, we're creating a system where, like I said, this all goes back up. We're available for our team to ask questions of us. We have a schedule in place where people know that they had 24-hour support from their upline people. These are the times where you can call. These are the times where I will not be available. That's what a business person does. And we were running a brick and mortar organization where we walk up to a store, a bank, right? A Twinkie shop, a car wash. What's the first thing that every brick and mortar store has on the front door? Oh, Open oh, and close. Oh, oh. Hours of operation, right? So this business is no different. You got to have those same things, but you got to find a way to communicate that to your organization. Now, let's look at, 